Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to play some logic puzzles. This one's another Sudoku variant, and it's known as an arrow Sudoku. How it works is just like regular Sudoku, each row, column, and 3x3 box is going to have the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. The added clues, however, is arrows, and the circle represents the sum of the digits along the arrow's path. Now digits may repeat along the arrow's path so long as it's not in the same box. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this puzzle for you guys, sharing some common tips and tricks, and hopefully it'll make it easier for you to solve these types in the future. Now if you want to give it a shot first, uh, before watching me do it, go ahead and click the link in the description below, uh, that'll take you to the puzzle. Now for starting on these, typically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the minimum and maximum possibility for the digits along the arrow's path. Now, these sums are all single digits, so we know a 9 is the maximum sum. Now some of these puzzles will have the uh, end of the arrow be two digits wide or even three digits wide, but in this case we only have single digits. So the place we're going to start is on this arrow's path because that's the largest arrow, so obviously it's going to be the most constrained. And what I'm going to do is find the smallest possible digit along each pathway, so that's a 1, that could be a 1, there's two cells here, so a one, two combo would be the smallest. Here would be a one, and again here, two digits, the smallest combination room being a one, two. So that would be three, that would be six, seven, eight, nine would be the sum, and that's the highest sum you can have within the circle, so all of these we can fill in. Those are all gonna be ones. And then this one, two, uh, this two can't be uh, because of that one. So that has to be a 1 there, making that a 2. This can't be a 2 because of the 2 already in that column. So that's a 1, 2 there. So that's a good start. The next longest arrow is this one. So if we look at this cell here, it cannot be a 1 or a 2. Uh, so therefore, the smallest digit is a 3. Here, same thing. Can't be a 1 or a 2 because of those numbers. So that can be a 3. That can't be a 1 because of the 1 on the left. So that could be a 2, though, and that could be a 1. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. That is the largest sum you can have. So these all are the numbers we're looking for. So that's going to be 3, 3, 2, and 1. If we look at this sum now here, the lowest digit this cell could possibly be would be a 3. Oops, Let's pencil mark that in. 3. And then same thing here, this can't be a 1 or 2, so that could be a 3. And so the lowest sum would be a 6, but these are in the same box. So you can't have two 3s in the same box. So this can't be a 6, and it can't be a 7 because there's already a 7 in the box. So the lowest sum possible would be an 8. Well, you would need uh, a 5 uh, to be paired with one of these 3s. Uh, 5 can't be on this top one, so the 5 could be here. Um, and I think this could possibly be a 9, too, if we had a 6 on one of these, which you can. Um, now, this 3 can be paired with this 6 to make it a 9. This 3 could be paired with that 6 to make it a 9. But you can't have any 7s here on any of these digits, because with 3 being the lowest, a 7 plus a 3 would be a 10. Obviously, you can't place a 10 in here. So those are all the digits that could possibly be on that arrow. Um, if we look at this arrow, uh, this the number here, the lowest digit, can't be one, two, or three, so the lowest digit is a four. Same thing here, you have a one, two, three, so the lowest digit is four, making the lowest sum possible an eight, and it can't be any higher because there's already a nine in that row, so that must be an eight, because it can't be any lower than an eight, can't be any higher than an eight. So we have a four, four paired there. Uh, let's look at this one here. This number can't be a 1 or a 2. So it could be a 3. And then same thing here. Can't be a 1 or a 2. So it could be a 3. And these are different boxes. So a 3, 3 pair is fine, making the lowest sum total here is 6 possible. Now a 7 is not possible because you'd have to have a 4 in one of these. And this 4 rules out both of those cells. Then the next smallest digit would be a 5 in one of these, which I think a 5 could go in either one, making this a sum total of 8. 
and it can't be any higher than an 8 because that's a 9. So the sum can either be a 6 or 8. And then if we look at this one here, um, it could be a 1. And in fact, now that I'm looking at it, I think it has to be a 1 by regular Sudoku because these two ones rule out those cells and these two cells rule out those cells. So the one has to go here. This cell can't be a two or three. So the lowest digit there could be a four, making the lowest sum possible a five. This could be a five, making this a six. This could be, can't be a six. So it could be a seven though, making that an eight sum total. And it can't be a 9 because there's already a 9 in that box. So it can't be any higher than a 7 here. So we have a 4, 5, 7 possibility. So those are all the minimum and maximum possibilities. At this point, uh, I think we're just going to use regular Sudoku strategies in conjunction with the, uh, the sums that we have already placed in. So if we look, I think we've placed all the 1s already, have we? Almost. Okay, so... Uh, a 1 has to go here by normal Sudoku rules, and a 1 has to go here by normal Sudoku rules. Let's look at the 2s. Okay, so a 2 goes there. Um, 2 goes here by normal Sudoku rules because of these two. And now 2 belongs up here, but we already have a 2 in that column, so 2 goes there. So we've solved all the 1s and 2s. Let's look at the 3s. 3 has to go here because a 3 doesn't belong here. So there's a 3 there. 1, 2, 3. All right. Um, I think that's all we can do for the 3s. Yeah, there are too many possibilities here, right? Yeah, too many possibilities. Fours, so we got a plunk of four up here in the corner. One of those two. Um, let's look these two. Means we plunk a four in one of these. Um, four. So we're going to plunk a 4 in one of those two cells. And then that makes the 4 here. And then that 4 plus 1 equals the 5 cell, the sum. Uh, and that 4 here rules out this cell as a 4. So that's 4 there. And these two force a 4 there. And now we have a little X-wing pattern here, forcing a 4 into one of these. Can't be this one because there's already a 4 in that column. So the Four can go there, ruling out that four. And there we have it, looking pretty good. Now if we start on the fives here, um, don't think we can really do anything. Oh, yeah, this five takes out these two. So there's a five there, forcing uh, five in one of these. Five is going to be in one of these. Let's see. Five goes in one of these. That's not very helpful. All right, so here we have a double that uh, we're just missing two cells. So we're missing a seven and a nine. Here's a triple. What are we missing in this box here? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. Well, there's already an 8 here, so take that 8 away. And there's already a 6 there, so that is a 7. So we can take 7 away from these. And we have a 6-8 pair, look at that. Okay, so these two are now going to be a pair. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, a 7-9 seven, pair. And that's not as helpful as I thought it would be. This is a triple, so what are these two? So it's got to be a seven, nine, what's the third digit? An eight? Yeah, 
eight can't be in, in this box and can't be in that box. So the only place an eight belongs in that row is there. So we can, now we have another seven, nine. So lots of seven, nines. Um, here's a triple. What are we missing here? Uh, five, six, seven. Not helpful. This is a triple on this row too, also a five, six, seven. Already a five here, so that can't be a five. And already a seven there, so that's a six, making these no longer, oops, I'm sorry about that, no longer sixes. So that's a five, seven pair. So this is a five, seven, nine, right? Center five seven nine. Let me clean up those fives. We don't need those in the corner anymore. Here's a pair. What's this pair? We're missing eight and nine. Already have a nine here at the bottom. So that's an eight, that's a nine. Cleaning that one up as a seven, making that a nine. That seven solves this as a five. Five away from there. So we have a seven nine pair, so that takes care of the seven here. So that five six pair means this has to be seven. Now we have a triple. What's missing here? Five six and nine. No five up here. Oh, this eight. I missed that. So this is now a nine. So this five is no good anymore. All right, five plus nothing over here totals nine. So we can take away the five. That's a three six pair now. So that's no longer a six. That's a nine. These can no longer be sixes and can no longer be nines. Uh oh. Uh, what did I do wrong here? What's the three digits missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm missing an eight. So this is a five, eight pair, right? Five, eight, five, eight, six. Yeah, boy, I think I might have, that was a close one. So this is the last digit. We're missing a seven, right? Yep, seven goes in there. Seven, seven, plunks a seven up here. But we have a seven pair already here, so that can't be a seven, making that the seven. We have this is a six eight pair, along with that. This is five six eight, but there's already a six and an eight there, so that forces that to be the five, not that one. That's now the eight, that's the six, that's the eight, that's the six. That's the nine. So this is a pair, so four what? Four, mm, two, three, four, eight, right? Yeah, four, eight. This is the last digit in that box. We're missing a nine. Is that right? Yeah, nine. Now I'm second guessing myself because of that one mistake earlier. I'm slowing down a bit here. Um, okay. Here's a triple. What's these two? Three, five, seven, right? We're missing a seven in that row. Um, this three, five pair means this can't be a three or a five. So that's seven. This can no longer be a seven. So we have a three, five pair. This must be a six, eight, along with that pair, right? Six, eight. This six, eight pair means that can't be a six, so that's gotta be three. That's the six. This, therefore, is a five, because that eight below. I could have solved that earlier. This is no longer a five, so that's a six. That's the five. This must be the three now, making that the five. 
Wait, oh, wait. No. Almost made a mistake there. This could still be a three. That's a different box. So these two can be two threes to make it a six. That's still possible. This can no longer be a three, though. That's a five. Making that a three. Yeah, so that is a six. And that's the eight. This here is a pair. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Already a five in that column, so that's a six. That's the five. And we're almost done. Uh, what am I missing here? We have triples here, so we're missing. Uh, oh, let's not get up ahead of us. Uh, seven means that's a nine. Making that the seven, that the nine, that the seven. Now we have these are just pair of something. One, two, so we need a three. This three means that's not a three, so that's a three. Oops. And this digit is an eight, right? Yeah, eight. Um, so we need a six, a four, six, right? This six means that's the four, that's the six. So that's the eight and that's the four. And there you have it. That's an arrow puzzle. Let's confirm I solved it correctly. I did. Perfect. Well, I enjoy it. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. A little bit different than like your killer Sudoku or little killer Sudoku or Ken Ken's, those other uh, math based ones. It is probably uh, middle of the range for me as far as enjoyment level. I, I don't find the math based Sudokus as fun as the more logic ones um, like the even and the odd or skyscraper. I find those to be a little bit more entertaining. Um, I don't know, math just seems like a little bit of homework for me. But anyways, let me know if you guys enjoyed it. And if you tried it on your own, let me know what time was. Uh, I'm no speed demon, so I'm sure some of you beat me out there. But just leave a comment below and like it if you did. Uh, that thumbs up button and subscribe for more in the, in the future. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.